Welcome everyone to the uh, Next Gen Awards. Uh, you all know me, I'm uh, Isaac Showman, and I'm uh, delighted uh, to be your host today uh, for our annual awards, or as uh, the media are now calling them, uh, the Nexies. You know, recognition is a really important part of our culture, um, but as a fairly large business, we don't always do as good a job as we'd like in uh, recognizing the great work that takes place across different areas of the business. And that's why I'm so pleased to be able to uh, uh, to be able to do so today, to be able to shine a light on individuals and teams who are going the extra mile uh, to deliver uh, best-in-class products and services for our customers. And our awards exist not just to uh, recognize great work but uh, in driving commercial performance, but also uh, in all the effort that's been made to improve our culture through integrity, through compassion, uh, and through partnership, all of which collectively makes us a stronger business. And we've had over 50 entries this year. That's 50 stories of achievement and success. Uh, and I'm really grateful uh, to everyone uh, who has submitted a nomination. I also want to thank our judges uh, for all their time in reviewing these submissions, but I know they've enjoyed it. And our judges were uh, Alexandra bowen uh, Claudia marquez rees Ed Conlon, John Acas, Laurie Berkowitz, Raj Sood, Shailen Torado, and C2 Yuin Mum. Uh, I also want to thank our, our organizers, uh, Guy Cooper, Jim Reichelberg, and of course Chris Edwards. And finally, our presenters uh, from across the leadership team Eric Johnston, Guy Cooper, Mariana Valley, Noah Hammond, Rebecca Anderson, Tom Fletcher, Tom St. Dennis, and Vicky Taylor. We are recognizing excellence in eight categories today the New Player Award the Take Ownership Award, the Better Together Award, the Play to Win Award, Scoop of the Year, the Compassion Award, the Integrity Award, and finally, the People's Choice Award. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first, uh, we recognize a outstanding uh, new starter in the past year, and that's a new hire who has hit the ground running and already made a really significant measurable impact uh, within NextGen uh, and is uh, showcasing all of the values uh, that we aspire to. Uh, presenting this award is Tom St. Dennis. So Tom, over to you. Thanks, Isaac. We've had some really fantastic new starters in the last year. It's been great to watch them grow, contribute and succeed in the business. The New Player Award seeks to recognize these incredible early contributions, some of which have been absolutely outstanding. With seven nominees featured here, I hope this serves to demonstrate the entrepreneurial approach we have in NextGen uh, and the freedom we have to innovate, even when you're just starting out. Now, on to the finalists for this award. Ben Wiley, data journalist with Insider. Kanchi Perez, business development manager with Euromoney. Farheen Liliwala, senior reporter with Insider. Freddie Benjamin, director of business intelligence with NextGen. Harry McAvoy, Marketing Exec for the Subs Marketing on the Deal and Infrastructure Journal. Louise Bellwood, Marketing Manager and Customer Acquisition across the portfolio. All well-deserved recognition for their impact on the business since they've started. You should all be proud of your achievements. Now, there was a close call in this category with all this talent on display, so our esteemed judges wanted to highly commend Conchi Perez for her outstanding work across Euro Money this year. Well done, Conchi. Our winner is a consistently outstanding performer as described in the positive statements provided by stakeholders. Very much a team player, always helping others. This new player has gone above and beyond in terms of the role and surpassed all of their objectives. It's an honor to announce the new player award goes to Ben White. Ben has raised the bar on what we produce as a team and continues to pass on his knowledge and expertise both inside the insider publishing business and to the wider next gen team. He's proactive, organized, and has vision for how to take things forward. He also understands the importance of systems and processes when contributing his work. We have Ben with us today. Great work. What does this mean to you? Oh, thanks so much, Tom. I'm just, first of all, I wanted to say congratulations to all of the other nominees, especially Conchie. And, you know, thanks as well to the um, insider team members who supported me in my nomination for this award. And, um, you know, I'm I just incredibly grateful as well for the support that all of those colleagues have given to me since I joined the business last year. Um, and Insider's a great team to be a part of, you know, on a, on a personal level. And, you know, professionally as well, I've been given a lot of responsibility and trust to sort of 
put a put my own spin on a on a new role within the team. And I'm, you know, it's a, it's something that I really get a lot of um, a lot of enjoyment out of. And you know, it's really gratifying to be recognised in this way. So thanks so much. Absolutely. Thanks again, and congratulations. Uh, I think this is really the kind of innovative work we need to showcase from around around next gen, um, and I'm sure Isaac, you'd agree with that. I definitely would, Tom. And congratulations to uh, Bear Nut. It's great to hear uh, that we're attracting talent like you into the business. And well done to Conchi and to all of the nominees for our new player award. Next up, we take a look at the Take Ownership Award, and here we're celebrating uh, an individual or a team that just gets it done. Our winner uh, took on challenges. They overcame obstacles, they demonstrated persistence, leadership and urgency to ensure uh, that we delivered for our customers. And uh, presenting this award is our CTO, uh, Eric Johnston. Eric, can you uh, tell us a little bit about the nominees and reveal our winner for 2022? Hi Isaac, thank you for the introduction. I think what stands out from all the nominees for the Take Ownership Award is the desire to improve, to make our colleagues' lives better, and to apply process and deliver solutions to challenges. I'm excited to introduce our outstanding finalists in this category, all of whom adhere to these ideals. They are Ben Naylor, UK Head of Research, Chris Adams, Editor of IP Stars Americas, Daisy Hunt, Sales Operation Manager, Doug Roberts, Global Business Development Manager, the IFLR 1000 Global Research Team, the Insider Honors Awards Team, Justina Renita, Senior Business Operations Specialist, Kim Hoholek, M&A Analyst, and someone whose name I should be able to pronounce a bit better than I can given that he's on my team, Jolt Suratsky, Software Engineer. The judges really struggled with this one. All of our nominees achieved high scores in our review. However, two especially stood out. One of those I want to recognize, Ben Naylor, who was so very close to winning this one. Well done, Ben. But we can only have one winner. And her no-nonsense attitude ensures efficiency and accuracy for her function where the ups and downs of workload are all a part of the day job. She's handled increasing responsibility and workload without complaint and always prioritizes the best interests of the business. Our winner this year is none other than Daisy Hunt. What a great win. And it looks like Daisy is joining us now. What does this recognition mean to you? Hi Eric, uh, thank you so much. Um, it's really, really great to have won this award. I feel very honored. Um, I have a great team working with me, um, each doing great things for their sales ops function on each of their brands. So I'm really grateful to them and they've really allowed me to sort of um, take ownership in my role. Um, I've really enjoyed being part of the Autodex working group um, where everyone on that team has really sort of played their role and we've seen huge improvements across our sales um, sales processes for next gen, which has been really enjoyable to be a part of. Um, I've been at Euromoney for seven years now, and it's just really nice to be recognized for um, the job that I do. Um, and yeah, it's, it feels really special. Um, I think this initiative is really good um, to recognize all the great people working at Euromoney. So yeah, thank you so much. Thanks, Daisy. Congratulations again. And I think I speak for the entire leadership team in saying that taking ownership and achieving success in the face of adversity is what this award is all about. Wouldn't you agree, Isaac? Thanks, Eric. And yes, I, uh, I certainly would. Uh, Daisy's a fantastic colleague uh, who's clearly made um, a really positive impact and uh, great work uh, from Ben Naylor there as well. Next up, we turn to the Better Together Award, uh, where we uh, seek to recognize uh, a cross-functional team uh, that's demonstrated outstanding collaboration, working together to solve challenges uh, for our clients. And presenting this award is Guy Cooper. Guy, over to you. Yes, welcome to the Better Together Award, where we are celebrating successful teams. 
For this award, our judges are looking for those teams that came together across next gen. Those teams that demonstrate they can knock down silos, kick into touch old ways of working to deliver great results. Our shortlist here speaks to this collaboration. So here are the nominees. The awards research team. This team were instrumental and very much the engine behind the great recovery in our awards programs across next gen. Euromoney Learning's IJ Global Masterclass, a collaboration that brought together two great brands and their expect respective skills to deliver a new digital course. The Euromoney Market Leaders Project Team, a newly created team that came together and has delivered over 240 rankings globally this year. And finally, the MI Renewals Team, a new team who worked across all subs brands to maximize renewals and upsell opportunities. Well done to everyone involved here. Great nominations with plenty of success all round. I'm happy to say that our judges had a very, very tough process, but they did have one highly commended, and that is the award research team. So great work from, from James, Sophie, John, and Jamie. But with a 93% revenue retention rate and over a quarter of a million pounds in growth, this year's winners are the MI Renewals team. Congratulations to them. And I'm pleased to say that Richard Breeson and Donna Sherman from the team join me now. Hey, come on up, Richard, Donna. <laughs> Thank you, Guy. <laughs> Donna, you put the submission in. Tell me a little bit more about the team and the journey that you've been on. Sure. Thank you again, Guy. Uh, before the renewals team was established, all renewals were handled by individual brands. By creating this team, it allowed all of us to work collaboratively as a team, servicing all brands, which can focus on upticks, renewal retention rates, and increased early renewals, as well as focusing on growth opportunities and win backs. Uh, in the end, uh, this avoided uh, missed accounts allowing uh, brand specific sales teams to focus on new business as well as key account management. That sounds absolutely fantastic and, and well done again. Richard, what does this um, award mean to you and the team and maybe how you might try and celebrate it tonight? <laughs> well, look, it, it's fantastic for the team to be recognized in this way. Um, I really see this as a, an award for the collective efforts of Donna, of Iona, of Victoria, Oliver and JJ, who make up the renewal team together with myself. Um, I think this is a real endorsement of collaboration and of achieving together of the teams that I've managed. This one really strives to win together. The team performance is, is more important than any one individual. Um, and I'd also like to just do a, a shout out, if I may, to the wider MI sales teams and to Tom Fletcher, who's championed the renewal team since our inception two years ago. I don't think we would have achieved what we've achieved without his support and our ability to be able to collaborate and to leverage best practice off the other MI sales teams. So yeah, a real, a real sort of um, collective award, I think, in that sense. Hey, brilliant. Hey, well done to you um, again. Definitely the epitome of better together. So congratulations to you um, and the team. And I will hand back over to Isaac. Over to you, Isaac. Thank you, Guy, and uh, well done to the uh, Market Intelligence Renewals team. A great example there of driving change through lateral thinking. And uh, great work, uh, by the way, from the awards research team as well. Uh, next up, uh, we have uh, an exciting group of colleagues who've been nominated for the Play to Win Award. And uh, in presenting this award, uh, we were looking to recognize a team that set the bar, exceeds expectations, and outperforms their targets. And if there's anyone who cares about targets in next gen, it's Tom Fletcher. Uh, so let me turn uh, Tom over to you uh, to present this award. Yes, thank you, Isaac. And I'm uh, really pleased to present an award which is close to my heart, the Play to Win Award. Uh, this was actually the most popular category at the next gen awards with 10 entries submitted. So a really tough job for the judges to review with some amazing results. And we were looking for a target thoroughly beaten, a big new or retained contract, or a game-changing new solution. And our finalists definitely met uh, this description. So let's take a look at the nominees. 
the AFJ marketing team, the Asia Money team, the Benchmark Litigation Commercial team, Euromoney Learning's RJ Global Masterclass, Euromoney Market Leaders Research Team, the IJ ESG Awards, Insurance Insiders Honours, Managing IP EMEA Awards, Euromoney Learning's Public Courses, and finally the Women in Business Law Awards. So a huge congratulations to everyone on these teams. And there were a lot of success stories here and the scoring was actually so close that the powers that be have deemed we should recognize two outstanding entries as runners up. And so our high commendations go to Euromoney Learning's RJ Global Masterclass and the Insurance Insider Honors. And so well done to both of these teams. On to the winner now, which had a great return to profitability post pandemic with a target of 178K beaten soundly to reach 450K total revenue. And success was driven by the extensive research program, excellent execution and diligence from the commercial lead and operations team. And so I'm happy to announce the winner of the Play to Win Award is the Managing IP EMEA Awards 2022. The team was made up of Kingsley Egbonu's research team, the awards team, and Able sales lead, Prin Shasiharan. Uh, and Prin joins me now. Congratulations, Prin, to you and the team. How does it feel to win the award? Thanks, Tom. This is great news. On behalf of the wider team, I'd like to extend my gratitude to our nominators and the next-gen judging panel for selecting our efforts for the top prize. Hearing the shortlist, it's apparent that a number of highly talented next-gen teams have had quite tremendous years, so it really is quite satisfying to have secured the Play to Win award for this year. Managing IP has held the GoTo Awards event of the Intellectual Property Calendar for 16 years now, and in recent years its profile to the global IP market has been strengthened by the leadership of brand legends Nick Heath and Kingsley Egbornu across our sales and research functions, as well as a strong awards operations unit. As Tom correctly noted, in 2022, the event brought in almost three times its anticipated total to record over £450,000 worth of sales, a figure that was close to the double the previous high of 2020, as we welcomed and entertained a record audience of IP professionals. I'd like to think that many great minds came together to make this such a successful year, especially amid the sudden revised financial projections, and close to almost 20 colleagues across research, editorial, sales, awards, marketing and operations all played their part. So thank you to everyone for the brilliant team efforts. And importantly, I'd say the achievements have placed the Managing IP brand in a fantastic position for 2023, and we're all very excited about our next chance to celebrate with the IP world in June. Thank you. That's great, Prin. Uh, well done to you again, uh, and thank you very much. Uh, Isaac, I'm sure you'd agree that that was a great win. Uh, back over to you. Thanks, Tom. And wow, that's a, that's a great achievement. Uh, well done to everyone at Managing IP for that one. And congratulations to the Insurance Insider Awards team and the Euromoney Learning team uh, for your commendations as well. And on the tales of that success story, uh, we now turn to celebrate Scoop of the Year. Now, as you all know, uh, we're a content business and editorial is at the heart of what we do. Uh, so this award recognizes the individual or team uh, that was first to market to break an exceptional story that's had a real impact for our clients and the markets that we serve. And Mariana, I know that this one is a particularly uh, exciting category. Uh, so let me turn to you now to tell us more about the finalists and the winners. Well, thank you so much, Isaac. It's a great pleasure uh, to be here and to announce both the finalists and the winner of the Scoop of the Year at the Next Gen Awards or should I say the nexties? Um, we have been bowled over by the submissions that we've had this year. Um, I have to say there are so many great stories, or so many more great stories that we've published this year, but you know, you've got to be in it to win it. So let's have a look at this year's shortlist. First in line, we have Dubai RPO could value TCON at more than $4 billion from Victoria Tila 
for global capital. Next one in line is Demotec warns 15 plus Florida carriers of possible downgrade from Fahim Liliwala for inside PNC. And then we have Monte de Pache rights issue in peril after Italian government collapse, also from Victoria Tiller for GC. Another one for the insider team. Next shelves fundraise amid private insure tech valuation pressure from Giovanna Bellotti Azevedo and Adam McNastry for Inside PNC. Next one, Bank of America and UBS to lead Sandoz spin-off from Novartis from Victoria Tiller again. Thank you, Victoria. And last but not least, sovereign wealth lessons from an isolated Korean nation from Chris Wright for Euro Money. Well, it's another close call in this category, and you'd have to think by the law of averages that Victoria would walk away with something. And you're right, she has. Victoria gets a high commendation for her piece on the Monte de Pache rights issue for GC. Well done to you, Victoria. Victoria has been with us for about a year, and it's really impressive what she's achieved in this year. But there can only be one winner. And this was huge news market-shaking news, as the editor describes in the entry. This winner builds a network of sources with great understanding of the nuances of the sector and the geography. And I am overjoyed to announce that another reporter that has been with us for around a year or even less, Fahin Liliwala, has won for her work on the Demotech downgrade scoop for Inside PNC. Well, congratulations to Fahim for her piece revealing that more than 15 Florida insurance groups were being threatened by downgrade by ratings agency Demotech. The piece reflected all the great groundwork that Fahim has laid in understanding the intricacies of the Florida's insurance arrangements. And I'm really pleased to say that Fahim is joining us now. Hey, Fahim. Hi, Mariana. Well, well done to you. How exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> what an XT. Thank you. <laughs> you can look at them in the face and say, I won one too. <laughs> well, I guess he nominated me, so I have to say thank you to him anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell us a little bit uh, about how does it feel to win an award? One of our it, feels, uh, it feels great. You know, we all could use a little bit of validation. Um, it, Like you said, been here less than a year. So as a newbie, feels great to know that I'm doing something right, even on the days that, you know, it doesn't quite feel like it. Um, well, as so far tell us as... a bit about this piece. Yeah. Um, so this piece was... Um, this piece was really important because the Florida market has been in an upheaval for quite some time. And um, there was nothing really tangible to really say that, hey, this is happening right now. So it kind of all came to a head when we heard this. And I mean, this sparked um, quite a bit of action from the state government, from the CFO, from everyone really to say, hey, our homeowners insurance market needs all the help it can get right now with a combination of litigation and insolvencies, lack of reinsurance availability, you name it in the state. So we'll even see a December special session and we'll see what happens there to really help out the market. Ryan, tell us, tell us the secret juice. How did you get this scoop? <laughs> um, I guess uh, the only secret is to keep harassing those sources and, um, you know, keep asking them until they finally tell you what you want to know. <laughs> it's all about hitting the phones. It's all about hitting the phones. Yeah, exactly. Telling them, hey, what's happening? And then finally they'll be like, yeah, did you hear this? And I'll be like, nope, I did it. Tell me more. Tell me everything you know. <laughs> There you go. Well, thank you. Look, Fahin, it's really great. And uh, massive congratulations to you again. Uh, now you. it's over to Isaac. Um, and it's just really great to see the great work that our journalists are, are doing. And, you know, obviously there are all of our uh, finalists and there's Fahin who's winning it, but there's, there's so much more great work that has also been done this year. Um, and I'm really proud of all of our journalists and everything we've done this year.
Absolutely. It's the foundation of our business uh, and really great work there uh, from our journalists. Well done, uh, Fahim, and uh, well done to uh, Victoria and to all of the finalists there. Uh, well, we've got three awards to go. And next up, uh, we celebrate colleagues who demonstrate a commitment to equality, diversity and inclusion. Uh, the kind of people who are uh, looking out uh, for their colleagues' overall uh, well-being. It's a really important award and here to tell us more about the nominees and of course the winner is Vicky Taylor. Hello Isaac, thanks for asking me to present this award. Uh, the Compassion Award is where we recognise our colleagues who have put inclusion at the centre of their work, that strive to make diversity the norm and that look out for their co-workers' well-being. Our two finalists are both deserving of their nominations, Mia Bailey and Shailene Tirado. Mia garnered a lovely nomination which described her as a caring manager, emotionally intelligent, understanding and supportive. It says that she has a focus on the mental wellness of her team with flexibility in her approach to workloads, ensuring her colleagues meet their objectives without compromising their health and their home commitments. So well done to Mia. The winner, however, is Shailene Tirado. Over the last year, Shailene has only grown in her commitment to equality, diversity and inclusion for NextGen and for Euromoney. From her time as REF co-chair to chairing the BRC, Shailene is always there to be supportive and help us grow as an organisation. I'm sure she must spend many hours of her personal time working on the BRC for the greater good of the whole company. Shailene is described as embodying this award because she truly lives it. While DEI efforts are important to her, she also doesn't forget what it's like to be a researcher. She always advocates for her team, supporting them through challenging times and raising them up for their efforts. I'm honoured to present this award to Shailene Tirado, who joins me now. Hi Shailene, congratulations on this recognition. Thank you so much, Vicky, for this wonderful recognition. Uh, I'd also like to send my congrats to fellow nominee Mia Bailey as well. Certainly great managers are hard to be and even harder to find. So I certainly recognize her efforts in this moment as well. Shailene, the description of this award specifically talks about encouraging equality, diversity and inclusion in the workplace. Why do businesses like ours need a Black Representation Committee? That's a great question. And, you know, the, the BRC is all about the pursuit of top talent and how our diverse communities should be reflected in the makeup of our teams at all levels across all departments and regions. And while we have been making progress in how we diversify our teams over the years, businesses like ours need the BRC as a model project framework to increase the focus and accelerate the delivery of our goals. And this framework can be applied across multiple streams. It can target an array of disparities, and it has already proven to be an effective avenue to assist in bringing in, developing, promoting, and retaining top Black talent. And making that possible is a fully collaborative effort by myself, the BRC Steerco, and all of our amazing subcommittee members who remain really, truly dedicated to this work. Thank you. Um, it's also clear that your colleagues appreciate your acknowledgement of their efforts, but how does it feel to be acknowledged for yours? You know, admittedly, while I'm very, very grateful for this honor, uh, there are some conflicting feelings, and that's mainly because this kind of work is not one that I do for recognition, but essentially because it's the right thing for our teams and for our businesses. Uh, everyone can attest it's a tried and true testament that diverse teams produce better business outcomes. And we're in the people business, and I take that very seriously. Essentially, from my America's head of research role to my BRC chair role, you know, recognition for me is doing right by the people who need my support, who need my advocacy, and who need my championing. And the reward is in seeing those people succeed without any barriers. Thank you, Shailene, and congratulations again. Isaac, back to you. Well done, Shay, and uh, well done, Mia. Look, we're a people business, and it's really important to me uh, that we all live with the ideals that Shailene has just shared with us. Uh, next up is a related category. It's the Integrity Award. Now, uh, our work, our business, frankly, only exists because our customers can rely on us. Uh, and in this award, we celebrate an individual who has been completely uh, and consistently transparent in their action, the kind of person who has anticipated and, of course, mitigated uh, potential conflicts of interest, the kind of person who is always uh, thoughtful of unintended biases and is acting with the highest level of integrity. 
and presenting this award is Becky Anderson. Becky, tell us more about this category and our winner. Hi Isaac, I'm delighted to be presenting the Integrity Award today as I believe respect, empathy and transparency are vital to high performance in any modern organisation. Putting these characteristics into action will benefit us all. I think our finalists display these attributes in buckets, so it's with great, great pleasure that I present our nominees for this award. We have Alexandra bowen Opaki, Greg Cohen, and Letitia Piraz. Thank you to those individuals who took the time to nominate these great people. We do have a high commendation here, and that deservedly goes to Letitia Piraz. Well done, Letitia. Now I'm pleased to announce a winner who has been pivotal in providing guidance and support, a colleague who knows how to take the temperature of the business and has a genuine empathy for the people around her. She has built a rapport that has changed the misconception of what HR truly is. Of course, the winner of this award is Alexandra bowen Opaki. And she joins me now. Alex, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, Becky. And what do you think you've brought to the role of HR business partner that's pr produced such a positive reaction to your work across the um, next gen organisation? Um, I think it's because it's something that I'm really passionate about. Um, I've really tried to steer clear of that traditional um, HR approach and I try to live the values of um, truly being a, a trusted partner. So that means people being able to come to me, um, have a conversation in confidence, and bounce ideas off me, whether that's around career, engagement, well-being. Um, those are the things that I'm, I'm passionate about. And um, I think that's really worked and it's lovely that that's actually been picked up and recognised um, and that that's having an impact. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can say personally, having worked with you for a while now, that you really are passionate about your role and, um, and the impact that you have on employees across the, um, across the organisation. But what does it mean to you personally to have won this award? Um, I think it's it's amazing. Um, it's you never quite know how the work that you do, whether it lands with people and whether people really connect. Um, so the fact that um, people have actually taken the time um, and had a had a thought and thought of me and actually said, you know, yeah, Alex, you know, you're making a difference. That means the world, and it and it makes my role worthwhile. Oh, that's great. Um, congratulations again, um, truly deserved. Um, Isaac, I think Alex was a really worthy winner of our Integrity Award. Um, and now I'm going to pass back to you for what I believe is our final award of the day. Thank you. Thanks, Becky. And a huge congratulations uh, uh, to our well-deserved winner, Alexandra. Uh, well done uh, to all of our finalists and, of course, to Letitia as well uh, for your commendation. But we're here now, it's our final award, the People's Choice Award. Now this one is voted by you and it recognises an exceptional colleague, the kind of person who always goes the extra mile uh, for you and for the business and for our customers, the kind of person who we can always rely on and the kind of person who lives and breathes our values. Noah Hammond is uh, presenting this one, so over to you Noah for this final important award. Thanks Isaac. What a great set of colleagues across all of the nominees, recommendations, and winners that we have rec recognized today. Well done to you all. What's especially encouraging is that all our colleagues are nominating each other, often without their knowledge. I'm not sure about you, but often we don't feel like putting ourselves on a pedestal. So it's fantastic that we have so many promoting the positive impacts their coworkers have on the business. And for the People's Choice Award, it's the impact on your work well-being, and personal development, which is being celebrated by others in NextGen. Which brings me to the last award of the day and worthy group of nominees, all who've been nominated by their exceptional colleagues. Let's have a look at these great people. Justina Renita, Kit Carson, Lorraine Taylor, Peter York, and Shailen Torado. Well done to you all, and I know from personal experience that this group of people make up the very best example of what NextGen stands for. The winner, however, is an individual who strives to bring people and ideas together by listening to conflicting opinions, allowing space for dialogue while focusing on core values and objectives. A huge congratulations to Kit Carson, Global Head of Research. Kit joins me now. Hey, Kit. Hi, Noah. 
Kid, I'm sure it feels great to be recognized in this way. It sounds like you're a great mediator. Tell us a bit more about what you achieve from this approach at work. Uh, oh wow, well, um, that's really kind to, to say, uh, really kind to say. You know, the I guess um, uh, I, that as an attribute, mediation, um, it really does mean a lot to me personally. Um, I, you know, and I guess on a on a professional front, um, it hopefully allows me and my my colleagues to harness um, everyone's experiences, their perspectives, and you know, through this, I feel we'll we'll do a better job for our you know for our clients, for our colleagues, um, and you know, I guess I've always I've always sought to create uh, the to create the opportunity for people to shine. Um, to be the best version of themselves at any point in time, because that's good for for for, for them, um, and and frankly, in turn, that's really good for the business, um, and it's good for me. Uh, you know, I enjoy working with people far more than I enjoy working by myself, um, and and the people I work with here at Euromoney Euro uh, honestly drive me to be a, a better person. Um, a better colleague and, and, and a better employee. Um, so yeah, so it's, it's, uh, that's wonderful to hear. Um, it does make me think of a piece of advice one of my mentors once gave me that, uh, Kit, you've got, you've got two of these, and you've got one of these, and you should use them in that order. Um, for those that know me, I, I do like to talk, so that can be quite a challenge, but uh, um, it's it's a bit of advice that, that I do my best to follow, and I, and I think that, that hopefully, you know, create some better outcomes. Uh, that's, fant that's fantastic, Kit. And it definitely sounds like you're able to get the best out of everyone through this approach. Now, turning a bit to a sort of a work-life balance, what, what does this word mean for you on a personal note? Um, uh, wow, <laughs> uh, I think. Uh, I, yeah, um, I, I, I suspect any of the, the worthy award winners uh, that we're speaking about today and, and my colleagues who've, who've been nominated by, by, uh, by, our, uh, by our peers for this award um, will, will think the same. I mean, it's, it, it, it's, it's wonderful to, um, yeah, to get to, 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 under, to hear that those who we work with, you know, are, are celebrating what we, what we bring as people. And um, I, uh, uh, if it, I, I'm cheesing. Um, I, I'm really delighted. Uh, I'm really proud uh, as well, honestly. Um, so thank you for 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 whoever you are who who who, who put me forward, and, 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 and I, I'm sure the same goes for everyone else in the shortlist. And, and so thank you very much for for that. It's it's great. That's fantastic, Kit, and congratulations again, a job well done here, and congratulations to all the nominees. And I'll turn it back to Isaac, but before I go, I, th I think he'll agree, you know, we are very lucky to have such a talented core of individuals throughout the organization, and these decisions are never hard, but again, congratulations to Kit, and back to Isaac. Thanks, Noah, and uh, congratulations, Kit, that's really well deserved, and well done to uh, all of our other nominees here. Well, we're at the end of our show, and uh, what a great demonstration this has been of the talent that we have at NextGen. You know, unfortunately, uh, these kind of awards can only scratch the surface in showcasing the tenacity, uh, commitment, and quality of people in our business. Uh, but I've been delighted with you uh, to be able to recognize some of our stars this year. Uh, thank you again to everyone who submitted a nomination. Uh, thanks to our winners for engaging in this process. Thank you to our nominees for all of your hard work as well. And thank you to our judges, presenters, and everyone else uh, who's helped put this uh, program together. Uh, this brings our 2022 awards to a close. Uh, so all that's left is for me to thank you, uh, to thank you sincerely uh, for everything you do each day uh, to deliver for our business and for our customers. I hope you all enjoy a relaxing break and I look forward to working with you uh, in the new year ahead. Uh, have a wonderful holiday season. Uh, goodbye and thank you.